Well, hello, my YouTube fellows and gals. My name is Tammy. I own a used bookstore. And not only do I sell books, I hope that when I read the synopsis, it might inspire you to pick a book on the gadget you prefer to read on, Kindle, Nook, whatever gadget, and pick up a good book. So, when I sell, and if anybody's interested in these books, these are all a dollar a piece. And these are softbacks, and they're in the romance section. And you just tell me what books you want, or lots, and then you email me, Tammy's Makeup Trace at gmail.com, or you contact me through Minda's Bookstore and more on Facebook. So, with that, we are doing 10 books, and this is book number one. Her Texas Cowboy by Jill Lynn. It's a 2018 copyright. This is what the book looks like. This is what it's about. The sweetest reunion in Texas. When Rachel Maddox returns to her hometown of Fredericksburg, Texas, avoiding her ex is much easier said than done. Still nursing the broken heart Rachel caused years earlier. Rancher next door, Hunter McDermott, figures he can be cordial for the brief time she's in town. Maybe they can even be friends. But how do you forge just a friendship with someone you've always pictured as your bride? Book one. Book number two. A Husband for Christmas by Gil Gamer Martin. These, of course, are all love-inspired books. This is 2015 copyright. That's what the book looks like. That's what it's about. The Bachelor Next Door. Spending her holidays in picturesque Lilac Circle, Michigan is the perfect place for Nina Jerome to start anew. She's determined to put her painful divorce in the past and focus on the future. She hadn't planned on being distracted by her sweet neighbor, Doug Billings. The successful businessman and temporary dad is clueless when it comes to taking care of his little niece. Getting help from Nina is the perfect setup, but something about the pretty new nanny makes him think about the unthinkable. Having a wife and family of his own, can he convince Nina that she's worthy of a second chance at love just in time for Christmas? So there's book number two. Book number three. Her Holiday Fireman by Kathleen Y. Barbeau. This is a 2012 copyright. That's what the book looks like. It's got a little bit of initials in the front. Because it is a used bookstore. And this is what it's about. A holiday he'd never forget. From his first encounter with the feisty redhead widower and fire marshal, Ryan Owen knows he's in trouble. He's in... Vine Beach to heal, not to find romance. As for Leigh Berry, she comes home strictly to lay claim to her family's restaurant and fend off developers. Leigh is infuriated when Ryan shuts down the restaurant on violations. Both are determined to have their own way, even as something unexpected starts blossoming, blossoming between them. They'll need to learn the hardest about love and faith and letting go. So there's book number three. Book number four. We have Mountain Country Cowboy. This is a 2017 copyright. It's got some initials in the front. That's what the book looks like. This is what it's about. When he's offered a job at Hunter's, Hunter's Hideaway, single dad Cash Herrera immediately accepts. It means the former bad boy can start over and gain custody of his son Joey. Still small town folk have loving long memories, especially Cash's pretty childhood nemesis. Rio Hunter is now a lovely, courageous woman and Cash's new boss. Past betrayal makes them both weary, wary, and Rio's secret promise will soon take her away from Hunter's Ridge. Yet working with Cash, teaching Joey about her beloved horse, draws her closer to both. Can she create a loving family with a man who's claiming her future? There you go. Book number four. Book number five. We have The Masculine Clan by Jillian Hart, A Masculine Homecoming. 
is what the book looks like. It's a 2008 copyright. This is what it's about. When contacted by her long lost grandmother, Lauren McCausland wanted to reconnect with all of the warm hearted Montana McCauslands. For too long, she relied solely on herself and her faith. The mistrustful lawman Caleb Stone stood in the way, and his questions about her were intimidating. Was his first attention more a protective instinct? Now that she believed in family again, perhaps this was also the time to believe in true love. So there's book five. Book number six. We have Check Second Chance Father by Renee Andrews. It's got some initials in it. It's a 2016 copyright. And this is what it's about. After losing his family, Jack Simon moved to the remote Alabama woods to be alone. But when an uncommunicative boy appears on his property, everything changes. Dedicated social worker Elise Ramsey explains the boy's an orphan with two with autism who lives in a nearby children's home. The beautiful woman seems so hopeful about young Cody's kinship with Jack. And despite his vows to never be a husband or father again, Jack can't help begin being drawn to into both their lives. But can the rugged recluse truly open his heart again? And chance loving the woman and boy who've come to mean so much to him. This is book six. Book seven. Second Chance Mash by Arlene James. It says it's in a larger print not too much of a difference and then there's some initials this is a 2012 copyright and the book says single mom Jessie Lynn Paget is grateful for the old Victorian she's fixing up now she can fulfill both her dreams providing a safe home for her young son and opening a floor shop but will Garrett Willows insist he's the rightful owner of the house and has dreams of his own for the place with one look at their withdrawn son the handsome man seems to know that she needs the house more, and his selfless solution will change everyone's lives forever. Book seven. Book number eight. We have The Cowboy's Bride by Carolyn Arson. Some initials in the front. 1999 copyright. This is what the synopsis is, the book. Still, the cowboy's lonely heart skipped a beat at first. At first sight of Rebecca Stevenson, with her warm smile and sky-blue eyes, this beautiful stranger was Joe's dream come true. He had to know more about her. A polished professional, Rebecca turned out to be an unlikely match for a hard-working horse trainer. Joe doubted she'd settle for a rancher's simple life. But Rebecca's radiant expression as they explored the countryside gave him hope. And her innocent trust as she struggled to rekindle her faith made Joe thank heaven for bringing them together. Now he prayed that Rebecca could look beyond their differences to see the wealth of love waiting in his heart. So that was book eight. Book nine is A Rancher for Christmas by Brenda Minton. It's got some initials in it. 2014 copyright. It's what the book's about. A family for Christmas. Raised on the run, free-spirited Breezy Hernandez has never stayed in one place too long, but now that she has joint custody of her late brother's twin daughters, she's determined to give them a stable home, even if it means cooperating with the twins' bossy uncle. Texas rancher Jake Martin learned the hard way that women can't be trusted, but as he and Breezy care for the orphan girls, Jake begins to open his heart. Is Breezy ready to put down roots in Martin's Crossing, or will she run... From the one thing she's always wanted, a family. So there's nine. And the last book we have is book number ten. This is On the Doorstep by Dana Corbett. This is Tiny Blessings. It's got some initials in it. It's a 2005 copyright. That's what the book looks like, and this is what it's about. It says, To Meg Rachel Ann from Pilar... My exciting day. Hello, amigas. 
You'll never guess what I found on my work day today. A baby. His name is Gabriel, and he's certainly heaven sent, and so Zach Fletcher and the dedicated detective decide to find the mother. This is the first time we've spoken, even though we attend the same church, I'm torn. I want the baby girl to be found, but I also want to keep Gabriel for myself. My biological clock has been ticking like crazy, and I've been fantasizing about Zach rounding out my family dream. So there you go. Last book. And if you know book lovers, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere, share me. Share me to all the book readers so they can come find me. So they can get suggestions or maybe buy a book or just whatever. Come in the comment section and comment on some books. I love hearing feedback if you've read these. And with that, whatever time zone you're in, I hope you're having a great one. I'll see you soon. Bye.